Welcome! We are live with episode 37 of our D&D campaign as we are getting super close to the end here. Um, and I believe Fife... Was it Fife? No, it's uh, Lenora's going to read the um, where we're at since we have been away a while. All right, guys. Episode 37. Uh, possibly a grand finale or the beginning of the end. Uh, here we go. Tiamat has been sent back to the Nine Hells by Krabic, Fife, Lenora, Balasar, and Shronik. However, the balance of power with the dragons of the dragons down allowed for the giant clans to reform under the banner of Mighty Titan. Now our adventurers are trying to carve a future for the Sword Coast by traveling to Avernus in a bid to kill Tiamat once and for all and restore peace between the giants and the small folk. Avernus, the first layer of the Nine Hells, has proven troublesome, and they have learned the history of the fallen angel Zeriel and dethroned her with the help of Bell. Bell's need for the sword of Zeriel diminished with, uh, with Zeriel defeated and Bell presented as the new leader of Avernus. Balazar, imbued with the power of the Celestials, bathed in light, wings outstretched, now holds the holy sword that once fought the devils of nine hells by Zeriel's hand. They now have the power to enter Tiamat Slayer. They know that a powerful being by the name of Archon, the Cruel, blocks their path, and that he has implemented the Hand of Vecna, giving him fierce necrotic powers and they still have one last alliance that may help them, the devil they had met earlier in the adventure, Asamir, and have learned that he is currently attending to matters in the north. What will our adventurers do? The fate of the Sword Coast, Avernus, and Faerun all hang on their shoulders as they approach the final battle against the Queen of Dragons herself in all of her power. All right. So we've been gone a little while, but you guys had defeated Zariel, uh, and... Uh, made a deal with Bell since he has become the leader of Avernus now. Uh, there's, he really doesn't have a need for the sword, so he has agreed to let Balsar keep it. However, um, he has stated that he will not be able to assist directly in the fight with Tiamat due to having a um, having some sort of uh, pact with Tiamat to not interfere directly uh, with her plans. And um, I've, uh, let me show this map, by the way. Uh, you guys have mentioned last time about seeking out the <coughs> devil uh, that you had met earlier in the campaign before you came to Avernus. And that person is uh, circled there. I'm circled there. I'm getting some feedback. Oh. So, man, there, you gotta, you gotta... there we go. Yeah, so I've got it circled there on the map, so you guys can see where it's okay. at if that's where you're interested in going or whatever you'd like to do. And the to the left of that is the monument to Tiamat, where there was the passageway down that was being guarded by the by the being that had the hand of Vecna. Oh, so he's right next door. Yep, that's nice. <laughs> where are we right now? Uh, you guys, let's see, you guys would be, right, let me find it. You guys would be about here. Let me draw it on the map. If I can get the drawing thing to work. <laughs> you guys are about here. All right, well, uh, I think we don't have uh, Kravik or Fife on mic at the moment. But, okay. Uh, what, uh, Balasar, Tronic, what are you guys thinking? Well, I, I, we're always going to Asamir, right? Yeah, Yeah, we want to go to Asamir, that guy. Yeah. Which is the, the circle you call him uh, whatever, I call him Asmir. <laughs> <laughs> Asamir, Asamir, you say Asamir, I say Asamir. ASMR. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then I think yeah, that's a clear destination. Let's we head there, Nate. All right. I'm gonna pull up a map. So you guys travel across. Um, there's gonna be some fights with some uh, demons along the way, but uh, you guys are level twenty. Uh, there's no reason to actually play those out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we wave our hands and they die. <laughs> they pretty much. It's not really an issue at this point. 
Uh, I am going to share the new map. Let me get you guys out on it. Share it here with you guys first. And I'll get you guys out here. So you guys approach. It's a large tower to the north. Um, surrounded by a sea of lava. Uh, you can... S uh, let me just get you guys out on the map. And uh, as you approach, there's a there's a bridge uh, going up and across. Looks like it's built out of bones, holding it up uh, to the to the entrance to the tower. There, the gates are wide open. You can actually see inside that there is um, uh, the fiend up to the north. Um, it looks as if he's looking over some scrolls on a pedestal. To Balasar to approach here, or is this? anyone what's uh, that now sorry uh what what it, we're just we're just here to what's this what are we doing what this is asamir this, this is the is... devil that you met that you made the deal with and traded the woman for oh do we see the woman around anywhere do we hear no. the screams of the woman nope it looks to be god because that'd be totally awkward yeah, it looks like it's just Asimir with a, there's some sort of portal behind him. He is uh, looking over some scrolls. There's a bridge crossing up into the tower. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, yeah. you sound great. Again. All right. I walk up to Asimir. Okay. And right. I say... Uh, I will... I will... Uh, uh, Trail behind him slightly, okay. as always. Yeah, I feel like we should all go. It's kind of like when they're, they're approaching the wizard in mm -hmm. Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. I would like to be beautiful. All right. <coughs> and as you guys right. approach... I, oh, also thank you. I don't, don't want to stand in one street line because I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, uh, you know, we, we got a good spread. We're just going to zag him. Okay, okay, yeah. Get him in the position you'd like to be in. Uh, Archbishop, thanks okay. for Super Chat. If Turnit gets hit in the head, something happens. Wink, wink. I think they solved that <laughs> problem. <laughs> but you never know since you Super Chat it. You never know what might happen to them then. The, the, uh, the head is weird. The head's weird. I, I'm going to hover a little bit. That's what I'll do rather than just be on the ground. All right. Oh, yeah, you, you can fly. So, yeah, you're hovering up above the ground. So, Asimir sees you guys approach. Um, he, he's, he looks up from the scroll. He is uh, reading, and he squints for a second, uh, looks around at you. Uh, you see a bit of recognition in his eye. Ah, what brings you to my humble abode? Well, it's been a minute since we have... Uh... If we have spoken, but we find ourselves on a bit of a quest here in Avernus. Uh, and does that require me in some fashion? Well, I thought I would. I thought I would swing by since our last uh, interaction went so well. You know, I thought we would swing by at least and see see how you were uh, getting on. If you've come to try to rescue the woman, I can assure you that all contracts are final. No, I I haven't even thought of her since then. I just feel like that was a real I feel like that was a real good deal. Like I feel like you got what you wanted. We established that she was not a good person, that she belonged here. Uh, you know, that to me felt like a, a win win. Uh, at the word of deal he he the staff in his hand, he kind of slaps it down on the ground and begins coming around the pedestal, uh, coming towards you all, um, and then he stands in front of the pedestal. Deal, uh, you say you're on some sort of quest. Might I implore you to beseech upon me what exactly this deal is, this quest you're on? Before we say that, why don't you tell me, how do you like uh, living here in Avernus? Like, who do you like? Who do you not like? <laughs> you know, like, we what's your... You? Check in on your what's alliances. <laughs> yeah, who's your what's your... Uh, I'm curious, you know... Who's going to be in your wedding party? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you go to these realms, there's like a uh, Mean Girls thing going on. We just kind of want to know what all the clicks are, you know? 
Well, things have recently went well in my favor with Bell in charge. I report directly to him. I'm expecting some sort of promotion soon. Well, you know, we're we're tight with Bell now. We're, uh, you know, part of the reason why he was okay. able to advance. Then tell me. Tell me, please. Enough with the pleasantries. What exactly <laughs> are you are you trying to accomplish here in Avernus? Well, my apologies. You know, we very much stand on tradition and, uh, you know, make sure that we do everything by protocol. Mm-hmm. Um I sort of I look around to the group, being like, "All right, I'm doing this, guys." And I say, "We are we are on a quest to dethrone and eliminate Tiamat." Oh, Tiamat! I've heard of the Tiamat Slayers coming to Avernus. Indeed, indeed. Well, what say you? We have another of one of our very adequate and successful deals. I could help you, make you more powerful. Good Lord, the way the way that you phrase that is so concerning to me. Very oh boy. adequate? Who says very <laughs> adequate? He emphasizes adequate. It's just um, okay, these deals. That is a very, a, it's just true. Let's cool. make a fine deal. <laughs> You're going to get a house at exactly the going rate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can fit so many souls in this baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'd love to make a deal with 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 you all. I could make you very powerful. Uh, I well, think what actually do you have in mind. I think actually what I need may align with what you're already doing. So it's more than a fair deal. You were gonna do it anyway. Why not get the power? I want Tiamat dead. Done. Ooh. Oh, tell us more. Tell us more. What do we get out of this? What do you get out of this? Great can I, can power. I something really quick sure. And ask, uh, I'm, I'm going to say, you guys, we know that there's like an army of Tiamat followers right in front of her house. Oh. <clears throat> uh, maybe we could get help rallying a, a devil army, a demon army to at least distract Blast. It took everything to kill people. Like you, it, took, it, it took a lot and we had people helping. Maybe we could you speak of Arakan, the cruel. And his follower, Torgar. Well, interfering that directly could possibly interfere with your own plans. However, what I could do is make you powerful enough that you could definitely take them out, no problem. Uh, he reaches his hand forward, he touches Kravik on the forehead just with his finger. Uh, you feel the power that he's promising coursing through your mind. Um, and just to be blunt and uh, here, basically, to put it into terms everybody will understand, he's offering two ability points of your choosing. What's the, and what's the exchange? For what? He hasn't really said. He just said that he also wants Tiamat yeah. dead. Well, okay. Any what's the catch, uh, Lenora asks. Yeah, what... What would we be giving up in this exchange? In our experience in Avernus, uh, people aren't just like generously offering like ability points uh, on on the you know because our interests align. He chuckles a bit at that and flies uh, his way back over to the other side of the pedestal. Yes, I can <laughs> see you've done more than your share fair of deals with devils. I do indeed want Tiamat dead, but not just in Avernus. You see, Tiamat is a multi-spheric power god. She has worshippers in many of the crystal spheres. So even being killed, even here in Avernus, even in her home plane, would most likely not be the end of her completely throughout the multiverse. He, uh, Are you kidding whoa. me? He breaks well, How many places <laughs> do we have to destroy? <laughs> Tiamat. <laughs> On other pl- on other planes of existence that we have to we have to basically go to like her Connecticut. To kill her. And let me guess, she's more powerful in each of the places <laughs> that we go to visit. <laughs> this is like this is one of those bullshit uh, like Bahamut like Final Fantasy things where it's like okay we kill Bahamut but now we have to kill Neo Bahamut <laughs> or Bahamut X. <laughs> so Asamir, he reaches under the pedestal and uh, he pulls out uh, what looks to be a crystallized orb. 
Um, inside of it, you can see a vision of a tentacled creature with one eye, and it looks like a thousand stars circling around it. Incidents that occur on one crystal sphere are not relevant to the dealings of a deity on another. Only incidents that affect a deity on its home plane of existence, usually the outer planes in this case, affect the power in all the crystal spheres. Even then, one has to be careful not to assume too much. Um, please understand that Tiamat's true name is Tarkesis. Speak this once Tiamat is weakened. Tarkesis, behold your form! And you will know when the time is right, for the orb will begin to glow. Speak these words and defeat her in the outer planes. I think I'm going to choose intelligence so I can understand what you just said. <laughs> basically, if I'm, getting, if I'm understanding correctly, we actually have to plane ship to real Tiamat, and we do that by saying her name. And then there, that's actually the Tiamat that we this is 100% Fun Fancy 2. <laughs> when you fight Zemus, all right, all you right. have to use the Ebon. <laughs> the Ebon key? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you you are correct. If Tiamat is not destroyed, if she's only killed here in Avernus, she'll be gone for some time, And but she will return. It's been done before, you see. And you were headed to kill her anyway, and I hear you came here to kill her. To get rid of her for good, well, this is how you actually do it. But, of course, if you fail to kill Tiamat, your souls would be mine here in Avernus. Some of you I may use as servants. Uh, maybe some of you to fight in the blood war. And perhaps one of you, he's looking at um, Kravik now, would make a very nice trinket to barter with the other devils of Avernus. Do you need, like, a mm. wand? <laughs> they love the hand. Uh, I would like to roll an Arcana check on this mechanism that where he is giving us this uh, Orby thing to 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 actually kill Tiamat. Yeah, you're, you're rolling this That's on the really orb, lot. is that right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you do sense this is some sort of uh, interplanar teleportation type device. Uh, you think that it may be. Uh, it's a conditional type uh, teleportation. In other words, you can't use it whenever you want. There's certain conditions that have to be met. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all and right. So, so like can we summarize again, there. real quick? Sorry. No, no. My um. Uh. So we have to fight Tiamat here when he's weak enough. We use this orb, and then we go to his or her home plane. Uh, we speak her name, Tachesis, and or Tachesis, and then we have to defeat her there. Yes, yes, defeat Correct. the the and, true Tiamat, Tachesis. Okay, and then she's full power there once we've uh, fought her here. I mean, not not that you have to answer that. But. <laughs> I have to be said, but it's <laughs> never been done. I have no idea. But I can tell you the plane you would be teleporting to would be the outer planes. Ooh. All right. Well, it seems like the only downside is that if we fail to kill Tiamat, we will suffer for eternity. You know, I mean, there was a lot of downsides already stacked up. What's one more? Uh, mm -hmm. That's how I, I kind of feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. Can we can we make an amendment to the deal? Mm. What do you wish? So as a spinner, we get our souls. But we I don't want to come in as a recruit. I wanna come in as I don't wanna come in on the bottom of the totem pole. I wanna like I think we should I think we all deserve like a higher a slightly higher. You'll still own our souls, but I don't wanna be like a you know? Mm. You wish to be on the front line of the blood war? Like on the back. We're making plans. <laughs> or we're getting there. But we're making plans. I don't want to... I don't want to be on the front. I think that's what I want. I don't want anybody on the... be on the front. Hmm. Eternity's a long time, but I could make a promise for, say, a century or two. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, 
I, my soul must be set free to return to Tor. No. I shall not stir can, here in Avernus. I cannot make such deal with you then, Paladin. Well then, Tiamat shall remain, and perhaps, should we fail, we'll know who it is that conspired against her. Is this like a tasting menu at a restaurant? Like, do we all have to do it to do it, or can, like, some of us do it? No, no, um, some of you can, some of you can't, don't have to. <laughs> but we still get the we still get the little the little uh, teleportation device. Yeah, yeah. If as long as at least one of you agree to do it, and um, you'll get the bonus of the two ability points, you can put wherever you want, and the orb. So one of us does that, and we all get the bonus points. No, only the person no. who only the people who agree gets it. But in addition, no, as if, long as only one of us says yes, we get the orb that will assist us in killing the real Tiamat. Mm. All Lenora's right, well, I'm definitely in. yes. Yeah. I will definitely Lenora's give it in. to one person. Lenora is definitely yes. in herself. I, I would love for, I'd love for Balasar and I wonder um, if... Now you're, cu now you're cutting out, Kirsten. Hush. I'm in the place that Jarrett came before. I think it's Kurt. Kurt. How about now? Yep. Okay. Uh, I want to ask uh, Asimir, Asimar, uh, is there anything other than my friend's souls that we could trade? Or even just one person. I don't know if Kronik wants to do it, but if Balsar doesn't wish to give his soul, perhaps we could work something out with Bell. Perhaps we could uh, do something to make Bell give you a promotion? Something like that? Hmm. We could be a reference for you. For just one person. Just one person's soul you miss out on, but you get a fantastic reference. No, I'm afraid I'm not interested in such bargains. I am willing to make another offer for this paladin. Perhaps once well, you return to the material plane, I could direct you to a certain cottage, woman of very unknown pursuits. If he were to slay her in her sleep... I would consider that payment. Of course, we yeah, have to bind it with the contract. Good luck. I, I really don't think he's going to say yes to that. <laughs> <laughs> Just give your heads up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I cannot say a woman in her sleep. No, oh, well, I'm sorry, dear Paladin, that we could not make amends for you. Everyone else, are you ready for the contract? I am. I am. He uh, waves can his I, hand. Oh, go ahead. Can I read? I would also like to say a part of the deal is that we get a copy of the contract. I played Baldur's Gate. Wait, just give me one more. Give me this. Give me in layman's terms one more time. What's the What's the bargain here? We have to give up. You uh, get two ability points. You get two right. ability oh, points. Yep. And then you, uh, he just won't, really wants you to kill Tiamat, uh, but not just kill her here in Avernus. He wants you to weaken her and then use the orb, which will bring you to the Outer Plains with her true form, Tachesis, and kill her there uh, so that she's gone for good. If you die, if Tiamat kills you or you fail to kill her for any reason, then uh, when you die, when your characters die, um, he... You, he, your souls belong to him here in Avernus. Question, uh, fine, fine detail. Death, is it instant death? Because I can kind of bring people back uh, pretty, pretty handily. So, like, uh, this is permanent you know, death, yeah. Permanent this, death, yeah. Like, not like, like the, you, not like, you know, somebody gets goes hit. down in battle. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Okay. Okay, yeah. Guys, guys. I got this. We're we're good. 
Laura's like, just well, sign, 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 sign the paper. Let's go, let's go. All right, sounds good. All right, so he turns his back towards the portal behind him and uh, begins to chant, and he points his staff forward, and a the portal opens up in a blinding flash, and a humanoid bound in chains with its eyes and mouth sewn shut stumbles through the portal. This individual looks like it's likely someone who breached their own infernal contract and is now paying the price. The terms of the deal are carved into the poor wretch's skin. The creature approaches, and uh, the uh, Asamir carves his initials into the top uh, with a dagger, um, and he holds it out to Krabbik to do the same. Boy, I'm right. sorry, I'm you're, sorry. You're asking us to sign this tortured person. <laughs> That's what you're asking us to do. <laughs> yes, this is how my packs are done. Oh my god! It also little... flies a little higher away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta turn to my compatriots and be like, "This is starting to give me bad juju, guys." <laughs> I don't know what how I feel about this what anymore. Did you all right. Well, as long as you guys are okay with this. Well, well, okay. Can I? Can 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 you like send a message? I, I'm gonna send a message to this dude to be like, "You good? Is it okay? I feel like you've got bigger problems." Uh, you're sending that to him. Uh, so what? Head. What you hear back is, I shouldn't have broken my contract. Sign so you at your own peril. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're not going to break our contract, so it's fine. This won't be us. This is not a cautionary tale. This is just a guy <laughs> who, you know, suffers. <laughs> and uh, suffering happens all the time. So, where do I start? All right. All right. I signed the person. All right. Uh, you carve your initials into the wretched creature. Um, he lets out a, a gasp when you're finished. Um, the dagger is now handed to Fife. I was gonna say no. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna pass it to Lenora. You do well, well, well done, Fife. <laughs> well you, done. You, wait, Your soul is worth so much more. Fife's not gonna do it. You decide not to do it. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna do it. I think. Uh, well. Thank you Wait, for waiting what? until I had signed to bring these concerns up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I literally, it, I, I mean, I, I was going to do it until like it, until you put the knife in my hand. And then I was like, I can't do it. I already have, I already sold my soul away to so many people. I'm, I'm ending up here anyway. So that's true. You know, like so what's another, fine. what's another signature then? You just you know who your boss is. Now you know who your boss is going to be. At least you didn't know before. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I, you know, it's it's kind of scary. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna. Well, actually, wait, I'm gonna turn to him. It's like, do I? Can yeah. I add, can I t add two ability points above twenty? <laughs> Is it worth this for like a plus one charisma, you know, or whatever? Like a plus one on a save or plus two? You guys can consider. I don't know, dude. My wis my wisdom is pretty low. <laughs> well, plus two would only give you an extra plus one on a on a check. Forever. But regardless, he looks, uh, he's looking at Fife in the eye, Ace Amir, and he says, Bard, Bard, I understand you're from the world where things aren't quite as real and grotesque. Perhaps use your mage hand so you don't have to get your fingers dirty. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I put my fingers up dragon's butts, so <laughs> fine on that. It's more about it's more about like the principle. Like I'm really happy with my initial deal. I'm not as I, I kind of agree with Balasar. I'm like, yeah, it's just like a plus one. So I, I I'm gonna pass. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm okay. Very well. And you, sir? He's looking at um, Tronic now. Uh I'm gonna pass too. Mm. I was never gonna do it in the first place, so. Uh, oh. I, my my soul is worth more than anything that you have to offer. I'm sorry. And you, you look eager to sign. He's looking at Lenora now. Yep, 
Let's <laughs> do this. Uh, Lenora gives a cocky walk and uh, uh, adjusts the guy kind of like awkwardly to get in, 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 get in a good signing position. <laughs> can you, can you bend over just a little bit. I this the spot's a little tricky. Sorry, sorry. Asamir uh, uh, kind of knocks him uh, into position with the back of his staff. Mm-hmm. The creature, let, the wretched creature, let's out of yeah, a moment. Lenora, <laughs> Lenora, we're we're hell buddies. We're, we're gonna be doing this together. You and me, buddy. You and me. Yeah, we sold our souls for the good of the team. For two ability points. <laughs> well, and the orb. I mean, once one of you did the it, the orb. I, uh-huh. I didn't feel. I didn't feel the urgency to kind of do it myself. I mean, we're already getting uh-huh. the orb anyway. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so. Uh, after you've signed Lenora, um, it lets out a gasp, and the uh, Asimir waves his hand, and the wretched creature is banished. Uh, tell me where you want the two stats. Lenora, you're first. Where do you want them? Cool. Two abilities. Uh, let's, let's take a wisdom. All right. So your wisdom is 19. Beautiful. And, uh... Uh... Can I do both on the same? Or are they can. different? No, you can do anything, yeah, okay. however you want. Let's just let's just go nuts on wisdom. Yeah. All right, twenty. Wisest. All right, twenty wisdom it is. And what about you, Krabic? Where do you want yours? Um, I would like to confer with uh, Fife, who knows a little bit more about how these numbers work than I do. Um, <laughs> will Constitution or Wisdom uh, help me more than the other? I mean, those are probably the two best ones outside of the text. Uh, but since, um, I don't like, know, does my, my, my spell casting require wisdom or intelligence? Your intelligence. So, but you already maxed okay, out. and that's already maxed out. I'm gonna go look at your things because hold on. Yeah, he's got 16 strength, 18 dex, 18 con, 20 intelligence, 18 wisdom, 14 charisma. I won't do charisma and I won't do strength. That's not worth it. Not worth it. Um, honestly, I would say constitution or dex. I'm gonna do constitution. What's your, what's yeah. your constitution? Yeah, dex. Would, I mean, both of these are about saving throws. Yeah, yeah. Give me constitution because I figure like there might be some like a like a fear spell or something like that that I might have to. Fear wisdom. <laughs> well, regardless, I'll do I'll do constitution. Both points. Yeah, I mean. Jumping out of the way of the Con- mm-hmm. All right, gotcha. Constitution is not necessary. Never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's already done. Bye bye. All it right. Hit, it helps with hit points. Yeah, but we don't ever get any more hit points. We're level 20. Yeah, but there are plenty of constitutions. Right. There are saving throws and stuff to consider, but he's right. We're not rolling for more HP anymore. Well, is it not, it's Never not mind. retroactive? No. No. That's no. too bad for you. For you. Is that what you wanted, Krabic? You're okay with it? So think maybe Dex. I think Dex have helped with your AC. You probably want um, something that's going to help immediately. Yeah. I would almost say Dex right. then. I'll do Dex then. I'll okay. do Dex. All right. Gotcha. 20 Dex. All There's right. There's going to be a moment where he's going to need that like 19 or 20 constitution on a saving throw. And he's <laughs> just saying, Listen, he's he's my husband. I'll just give him a gentle kiss as an apology. I already feel really bad that I they chickened out. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Because now I'm thinking like, so what, at least one of us had to do it to get this orb. And so even if I was the only one to do it, you know, I'm glad we did. I'm glad I did it to get the orb. And which of you would like to hold the orb? Grab it. I figure I'll take it. All right, we'll drop it in your inventory. You're the general holder of orbs. He's our gnome of holding. Yeah, not mm. to mention, not to mention, you you were the first to sign. All right, it's in your inventory. It's called the Orb of the Outer Plains. Uh, if you check it, just in case you forget what he said in the description, it says the exact words. Speak the words, Tarkesis. Behold your form when the orb glows bright in order to face Tiamat in her true form. Tarkesis, destroyer of worlds. Alrighty. Well, I'm glad we can make another great arrangement, my friends. 
Is there anything else I could do for you before you leave? Do you have any anything else that would help us in our, like any kind of materials, like weapons or anything that would help against Tiamat? Yeah, what's, where's the store in hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a traveling caravan. Of course, it moves from place to place, but looking at how you're all equipped, I doubt we would have anything better. We mostly have very crude weapons meant for devils that are just going to plunge themselves over and over again for eternity anyway. Weapons aren't really of great concern. It sounds like Krabby. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's too too soon? Too soon? <laughs> no potions of healing or anything like that? I guess you guys don't care about healing. No, our soldiers <laughs> don't really need healing. Well, okay. unless you have any other deals you want to make, you know, I... I'm in a bargaining mood, but uh, that's what you got. Then I guess we'll be on our way. Yeah. Um, you know what? Maybe I could say, like, can I try to persuade him to, like, give us anything? Like, hey, uh, Azamir, Bubby, baby, is there anything else that you could even think of that might help us think of what could happen with Tiamat gone forever? In all planes. Yeah, roll a persuasion check. You got it. <laughs> no, um, I'm sorry, it. dear paladin. I offered you a deal and you wish to not take it for your piety or whatever it may be. <laughs> no, that's what it is. It's that's what it is. That 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 Balasar's persuasion is so high now, and I think you've only ever rolled like one, two, and three. Like, any of those <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna Truly, plus eleven. What you, to, what you have to imagine is like I'm a beautiful creature now, like truly angelic with wings and everything. Like I'm the hottest girl there is. <laughs> And I keep falling on my heels. Like, <laughs> I can't do... Well, truly, it's because like, you, you didn't grow into your hotness. So you just kind of yeah. happened overnight. So you're kind of yeah. like that Adjusting. Yeah, That's adjusting. Fair. Right. Yeah. You don't even really realize how hot you are. Day, at the end of the day, we'll always remember you as Balasar, who almost got murdered by two snakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well... Never mind. All right, I'm sharing the big map again with you guys. Um, whatever you guys would like to do. Should we go Did, uh, kill Tiamat? Uh, is it Tiamat? I say we go time? kill Tiamat. Tiamat, Tiamat time. murdering. So I need to take my break here in okay. a few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sure. how do you want to handle that, Nate? Uh, we'll be in combat. Most likely, because um, as everybody knows, Archon the Cruel is waiting at the monument, the giant dragon skull leading down to Tiamat's lair. Um, so, uh, while you're gone, we'll probably just uh, probably just have you just beat up stuff, I guess. Okay. Uh, just remember, I get like I think I get like four attacks now. Let me hold on. Let me double check that. Uh, oh, I think Maybe, yeah, I think you're right. Is there any is there any way to don't you need like gems for your hat? Gems Me? For your hat. He does so have that. I, yeah, I have. I don't know how many I have left. We never really settled on that, but I have definitely have some. Um, I don't know if you can replace the gems in the hat. Yeah, I don't think it. Fun. I don't think it works like that. No. But I also oh. think I have a few left that you do. probably won't matter. Um, but yeah, Nathan, I'm pr I can't find it, but I'm pretty sure I have. I get four. I, I can yeah, I found it. It's Helm of Brilliance. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, you're talking about your attacks. Yeah, you should have four. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have four melee attacks now. So yeah. just uh, while I'm gone, I guess um, just do the uh, attack with my greatsword. Um, and I'll save the helmet for when I 
come back. What's your role for the flame? I forget. Plus one more. d6. It's a one d6. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. And uh, and any I think <clears throat> eighteen is a crit now too. So eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Right, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yep. Superior. Let me see. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eighteen through twenty are crits. That's what I got. Uh, and then, oh, also, uh, at, just just quick, you can look over my spells, but at 18th level, uh, um, at the start of each of my turn, I regain hit points equal to 5 plus my constitution modifier. Oh, nice. Okay. Constitution modifier is 5. Nice. Okay. All right. I will try to make this as quick as I possibly can, but obviously out of my hands. Yeah. All right, man. Well, hopefully we'll see you in a bit. All right. Sounds good. All right. And you guys are traveling to the Monument of Tiamat? Yeah. I I think... Hold on. There's some stuff I want to do to me. Uh, I want to cast Death Ward on... Um, oh, just on Balasar, I guess, because Balasar needs to be up close in... Tronic already has. Okay. So, so yeah. So, as soon as we get, like, close-ish, I'm going to cast Death Ward on. Palazar. Okay. I'll move you guys to the map so that you can do Thank that. Thank you. All right. Sharing it now. Um. Ooh. Here we go. This is where we were before when we stole the vial thingy. Oh, yeah, came out right. blood. Yep. All right, so uh, you guys approach. Uh, you can see ahead of you. You can see the tents are they. Even though it shows them on the map, they're actually all burnt up from the, your last encounter here. And <laughs> you see Archon the Kroll, his Minotaur friend, and the Manticore. Um, they are once again at the altar in front of. The skull with a, there's a, almost like a brimstone gas coming out of the mouth of the of the skull of the dragon, and they are, it looks as though they are praying before it. Um, with the tents and everything burnt, however, you don't see all of the soldiers that were here before. Perhaps you wonder if they weren't sent off for some task in the blood war. It is only these three here currently. Hell yeah. Um... Everyone, maybe remember that we we might not we probably won't be able to get to long rest before we mm -hmm. fight Tiamat, or mm -hmm. we may not. Because remember, Tiamat Tiamat was very aware that we were fighting before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cantrip, baby. Yeah, nothing but cantrips. Or level ones that you won't. I did not use a level one spell. Oh wait, can we just tap like for a second? What did we learn last time? Because I remember that there was, like, no spells below, like, fourth level, I think, would actually hit um, Tiamat. Is that is that true? Uh, Tiamat? I don't remember. Yeah, I think you, it, I think you might be right, though. Okay, because I just want to make sure that we're not, like, we, we fought this hell once. Yeah. We should be able to remember. Okay. So, I actually... One of you has like a. We can go to like another plane or something and take an end, right? In that case, maybe we should. I mean, these guys won't be easy, but whatever. All right, I'm done helping. Yeah, and, <laughs> and and just to give you guys a refresher, since it's been a long time, but you guys would obviously remember this as the characters. Uh, she was immune to acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from anything non-magical. Um. So like, um. And also, she can't be blinded, charmed, deaf, and frightened, poisoned, or stunned. Uh, there you go. And she can just legendarily decide mm -hmm. not to be, yeah, not to have something happen like multiple times. She can also use her breath weapon, according to you, every every turn if she really wants to. If she wants to, yeah, with each head, she can, she has to each, so each dragon head has to recharge, but she can use each one once. Uh, it's almost there's only a few turns she'd have to wait and then she could reuse them all again. So make sure we're spread out so that she can't get us all with one shot. Right. 
Mm -hmm. I think after we kill these guys, we should plan a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Certainly don't want to plan before. <laughs> yeah, no, no I, I agree. I feel, I feel, I feel like, I feel like Tronic's really out of it right now. He's kind of in like a blood, bloodlust. So maybe we we'll wait until. That's true. Tronic's out of his 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 intensity. He can't wait to dive into an elevator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Said that uh, five disconnected. You good? Did I did I, I clicked out. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm here. I'm here. Okay. All right. Well, how would you guys like to approach this? They look to be busy praying. I mean, do we want to? Do we want to like do something, or do we want to just like you know level twenty and book? Uh, I mean, they're praying in an How area. Away? How far away are they from us right now? Uh, about 45 feet. They yeah. are. About 45 feet? Okay. Uh, I have some spells that I could start us off with that would, like, hit all three of them and maybe give them a little disadvantage uh, going forward. Do it. Yeah, uh, if they're mm -hmm. pretty low. Like, don't waste them. Yeah, or get ready. If, if, if anyone else has an area of effect spell that they want to... Uh... To rock like right away. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I have some something that could just do like a little bit of damage to everybody. Or uh, what else do we got here? Um, are they what type of creatures are they? Uh, Nate, are they all the same type? Um, let me see here. Torgar, the Minotaur is. An identified um, Archon the Cruel is probably just humanoid because he's a dragonborn. Yeah. Okay, so they're not all fiends or anything like that. I'm going to check about the Manicor. He might be. No, they're not okay. fiends. Okay. Then uh, I am... Uh, I'm good. I'll defer to you guys with the other spells. Uh, yeah, I can even, like, start off this fight by holding one of them so that hopefully they will uh, not have a couple of turns at the very at the very top of it. Yeah, I, I, I can try. Actually, if you want to hold off on that, I can also do Hypnotic Pattern, which will be able to get all of them at once. And maybe they aren't going to be able to make the save. Uh, yeah, they well, need no. to make a Wisdom Saving Throw, you know. I'm not sure what the what the odds of success on something like that is with the potentially high level creatures here. I mean, I have a DC 19. Yeah, if you want well, to give it a try, give it a try. What 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 we may want to do is allow Tronic to try to get a little closer <laughs> to be able to um to be able to melee before we start combat. Mm, to yeah, sneak I in. can dimension door him over there. I mean, he could probably sneak over there or walk a little bit. I mean, I can fly, so I don't need to necessarily be that close. But I'm gonna definitely want to get in there for a bit. Do we know? Do we have a scroll of fly? Can we cast fly on somebody? Uh, let me double check my inventory real quick. I have a scroll of levitate. Let's hold I might that save there. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, hey, Nathan, I'm so sorry. Could you pull me back onto the map? Or just, like, tell me what the name of the map is? Uh, yeah. Hang on. I'll share it with you. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I got it. Um, yeah, I mean, we can dimension door... Uh, I can dimension door him if you want to use your spell to, like, get the area and then immediately dimension door him over. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Well, um, yeah, quite possibly, depending on when his turn is, but also, like, we don't also want him to be the able to just be hit by... Th I guess maybe we do, to be able to hit, get hit by everybody uh, when they attack, but he does have a bunch of hit points. I don't know. All oh, right. Wow, I just got like, kicked off of uh, Fantasy Grounds. Same. Weird. Hey. Yeah, so. uh, you guys have... You guys are... The internet is... Doo-doo today. Mm -hmm. 
your internet it's very LA. It's it's high. It doesn't want to <laughs> doesn't really want to work. It has it's dreams of doing something else. Uh yeah, team out trying our, to Our our router yeah. is just Brad Pitt from True Romance. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, uh, is yeah, it... I've got that spell book that uh, makes it so I don't have to use a spell slot for Dimension Door ever. Nice. Okay. Oh, then you should use then you should use Dimension Door. Yeah. And are you wanting to Dimension Door him over, um, like in some of the re- rubble there of the burnt down tent? Um, I want him where he can do the most damage. Um. I need to be put back on the map, or the map shared oh, yeah, again. Yeah. Here we go. Um, yeah, which of these characters can fly, do we remember? The Manticore can. The Manticore. The Manticore can fly. Yeah, and um, you remember at one point Archon the Cruel teleported, too. Okay. You guys were trying so to what trap I think we should fire. do... I think we should, we should flank these guys and... Maybe we put Proenic right behind Torogar, and then they'll be fighting him in that direction and us in the other direction. I feel like that's a pretty savvy thing to do. Okay. Great. So maybe about I like here? That. Yeah. And then, yeah. And now, I don't know if that will reveal him immediately, but it would be great if he could do like a, uh, yeah, there's, like a, there's... a surprise attack. Yeah, there's some rubble uh, pieces of the tent that didn't burn that he's uh, you teleported him to. So he's still mm-hmm. hidden right now. All right. So yeah, without further ado, I I would say we I, uh, we let Tronic do his four attacks for the very first thing that happens. Okay. I'm let also, Tronic be Tronic. Let Tronic. <laughs> uh, can I? Is there is there a good place for Krabic and I to have like at least sixty? feet distance but still be a little bit hidden uh yeah i mean are you talking about to be within spell range yeah 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 Yeah, well we're 45 feet away right now yeah um are we we pretty well and we're pretty well hidden yeah yeah you're behind this bone here and they're kind of busy praying so they haven't noticed you at all from here at least not yet uh nick say something cool as he attacks them (laughs) <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Do you want Tronic Let's to do the first attack, the or are you guys going to cast a spell? Yeah, are you guys going to cast a... I just really don't want to use all my spells, you know? And right. remember, I, I can use Dimension Door as many times as I want. That's not going to cost anything. I could even Dimension Door... Uh, Balasar and Lenora closer for their uh, melee attacks. Or if, if, uh, I got if, a, if, I, I, I can fly nine feet. Yeah, he's feet. flying. That's okay, good. so yeah, I'm good. We don't need to do that anymore. Then. Yeah, I, I would say though, if, if you have a if you have a decent spell, like I would assume that we or hope that we can rest before Tima. If you got a decent area spell that can hit all three of them at once right now. Mm-hmm. I, I think it might be worth it. Um, all but right. We'll see. Can, uh, I don't know. I, well, I still say we will give Tronic the first shot. Well, I was going to say, Tronic, I'm sure Tronic would have said this at that point. Um, he has a fireball he can cast from his um, Helm of Brilliance. He still has like five he can do. Well, fireball that, is an um, area of effect. Well, that, it would hit all of them. And will that just be one of his three attacks? No, that would be everything. Uh, that would be everything. Yeah, it would, yeah. yeah. But, then, but, then, him... but then you'd roll initiative, you know what I'm saying? So you're not even on yeah. initiative yet. It's yeah, 86 fire damage. Go... I think I say we let him go ham on Torgar uh, with his four attacks for the first thing. I think that's a massive advantage right, okay. there, right at the top. Yeah, probably. That's, yep. my, that's my vote, guys. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Makes... All right. Yeah, okay, so then, great. So Tronic uh, barges out from uh, the piece of tent that he was hiding behind um, and flies out towards Torigar, 
and start slashing with this sword. Let's see, this must be the one he uses. It's a hit. Alright. And then he's got his flame on. Three more damage. And another one. Right, there we go. And I, actually, I'm just do all his flames at the end. All right. So here's the second attack. It's a hit. Ten damage. Third attack. It's a hit. <laughs> Five <Yeah>. hits. Excellent. <laughs> Fourteen oh, damage. Hit. And here's his fourth attack. That's a hit. 14 damage. And then let me roll his three other flame strikes. Two. So he's at six. Nine more damage. All right. All right. Got it. And everybody roll initiative. I use it on too good for initiative rolls. All right, and it looks like it is Archon the Cruel's turn up first. Um, so they spin around once Torgar starts getting hit in the back, um, and uh, uh, Archon immediately notices that there are um, that they're being ambushed, and he is going to. And you're flying, right, Balasar? I sure am. Okay, so he's going to notice you because you're flying. Um, he's kind of blocked in his view of Tronic. He is going to... Mm... Yeah, he's casting a spell on you. I am going to cast um, Counterspell. Ooh. Well, it looks like I saved. He saved. But, oh, but do you still want to do it? I didn't do it. <laughs> no, it's you. up to you. I really. I mean, yeah, because yeah, it's half damage. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not gonna do it. All right. All right. So half of that about thirty damage. And so um, finger of death though is necrotic, and I'm resistant to necrotic. Ooh, of the sword and nice. Okay, let me fix that. It would be fifteen. Yeah. Oh gotcha. man, we didn't even do fight. Fight. We didn't even do your little battle spell. Your battle speech. Oh, fuck me. Fuck core. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, can I? Well, uh, uh, that's fine. Later. That's fine. I'll we didn't do it. Do it. We didn't. Do I can do it another day. I can do it another time. Right after this that's battle, fine. I'm gonna. Your little finger of death bullshit <laughs> doesn't hurt me. <laughs> All right, Krabby, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to cast Hold Monster on the Manticore. Okay. All right, now keep an eye on this roll if it's, you know, correct or not. Ah, shoot. Wow. Okay. Great. Yes. Gonna... No, he failed. Keep yes. Roll. That's Whatever. good. Oh, yeah. Whoa. A one. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I can't believe I was worried about a plus four to wisdom saves. <laughs> it's this guy, apparently. All right, he is unbelievable. Held. All right, guys, it is now two. It is only two, two on five or whatever. All right, it's Torigar's turn. Uh, he is went into a rage, of course, and he's attacking, of course, Mister Tronic. It's a hit. And he hits for 18 and he's doing his double attack. He's hitting with his horns now. Oof. It's a crit. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna cut, I'm gonna cutting words that. Okay. Uh, so, gonna hit no matter what. But, um, well, what's Tronix, uh AC? Tronix. Oh, I don't know. Uh, his AC. Hang on one second. Whoops, I already hit the dice. I don't know if it did it to him or not. Um, 
His AC is 19. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but look at that roll. I mean, maybe you can't do that right now, but. Oh, wait, what, what do you mean? Yeah, it's I a mean, crit. Yeah, it's a 20. Was, he, yeah, he's guaranteed. It was a crit, but it was 2d8, and he got a 3 and a 1. Like, mm. maybe it's too late to, to metagame like that, but if it is, no, 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 it's fine. I, I don't mind. I don't mind have using my cutting words. That's, like, what they're for. They're okay. here to be oh. saving okay. people. And that adds 3, right? No, no, no. So it, he doesn't get the double. He only gets, like, half of that or, like, whatever. All right. Okay. So it only rolled once. There's, you usually roll twice for each horn. So we just mm -hmm. won't roll the second time. So that damage is already there. Should be. Make sure it worked. No, it didn't do it. Uh, I'll just add it myself. What was it? Uh, 11 damage. All right. And that is Torgor's turn. It is now Lenora's turn. All right. Let's hop into the fray. Um, is this a difficult terrain or anything, or can I just kind of run forward? Yeah. All good? Yeah, you okay, can. Cool. Um, nice. Well, um, I'm going to run forward 30 feet, and can I, uh, you know, let's get a spiritual weapon going. I'm using this lot in Baldur's Gate 3. It's a great, great little thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't use enough in this game. Um, and uh, I think it's a free action to cast. Um, it's a bonus action, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I use my bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon. I don't know why why it rolls. Does it do anything? I, <laughs> um, anyways, I have one out. Uh, can you spawn a little an axe or whatever. There's, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a weapon now right in front of the mana core that's going to take some swings. Okay, yep. Um, and um, think here for a second. Then I'm going to I'll just start with a little guiding bolt. Just go light until I get, until I get a little closer. On this guy. Hitting him with the light stuff. Nice. 26. I'm going to roll for the axe. Oh. Oh. You can, thing. oh no, thank you're you. fine. Three. Two and five, so seven. I'm going to add that. That's the mana core. All right. Got it. Cool. Uh, I think that's me. All right. And now it is Balsar's turn. The mana core is held, right? Yes. Okay, so then, um, all right, I am going to attack. I'm going to fly and attack Archon. Um, and then fly out. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's turn on my shit. All right. I'm going to fly and attack. Archon, I think I have him targeted. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Miss. fuck. Yep. All right, so you flew wow. out, uh, took a swing at him and missed. Um, now, on your way flying out, he you're flying, so it's going to be more difficult so I'm going to do a disadvantage, but he's going to try... Oh. Oh, wait, I get two attacks. Okay, okay. Oh, and if I need to disengage or whatever, I can just stay there, I guess. Okay. Um, if it's see. any attacks opportunity right. when you're flying or at disadvantage, so. Oh, okay. So. All right, miss. Oh. Fuck, man. All right, well, I will, um, you know what, I'll fly back out then. Okay, all right. Uh... Yeah. Let me do a little attack I'll fly here. back over here. I'm on disadvantage. The hex is right. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's see if he gets you. Nope. Miss. All right. And then where did you want to go back to? Uh, let's go back to like right here. Okay. All right. And it is 
Tronix's turn. All right, Tronix's going to continue bashing on Trogar here. He's hard to hit. <laughs> That's Archon, not Trogar. Yeah, Trogar seems to be right. No, I know. Seems to be getting bashed pretty good. That's a hit. Trogar seems to be easy to hit. It's a battle of the Tros. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> They're really trowing down. Tro v tro. <laughs> no tromo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's it. That's the one. That's yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, honestly, it's just kind of hard to see a couple of Tronics fight with each other. <laughs> oh, Tronic has um, swung and missed, and uh, his sword came out of his hand a bit, so he's going to have to oh, use shit. his last action to grab up his sword. Um, oh, what if we when? When Tronic gets back, he's like, oh, your weapon's gone, and your leg has been stuck. <laughs> your, your, your luck sword or whatever, the wish sword. You know? great, yeah, great sword of luck blade. All right, so he uses last action to pick it up. I'm going to roll for his fire damage now. We got a, ooh, max damage, six, ten, and thirteen. Holy shit. Wow, this thing is, God, is our tank. It is a real ass tank. All right, it is the manicor's turn. The manicor is held. Uh, let me see here. Correct. Yeah. Let's see what this does. Right. Oh, I see. Okay, so he's going to shoot out a tell spike. Um, he's going to shoot it. Let's see how far the range is on that. Wait, the manicor oh, yeah. can do that. Yeah, he's got spikes on his tail. Um, he's gonna. He's so even held. he's held, I thought that meant he can't move at all. We can't. He doesn't need to move. Uh, well, he can't move from his spot, right? But he can still do things. I'm pretty sure you can still take actions, like a spell or something. If you're held, you just can't move. You're rooted, right? I I think it says that he has to uh, to roll out of it before he can do anything. Oh, is that right? Let me Hang double on. check. Yeah. The pa- it's old the paralyzed monster. condition. Yeah, it's paralyzed, not. Oh, it's a paralyzed. I thought it was a root. Um, paralyzed for the duration, yeah. Let's see. We, boys, you have to roll uh, strength. Oh, wisdom the MET's turn the target, making it a wisdom saving, saving throw. Okay, gotcha. That's what he'll try to do then. Let's see how he does. He won't roll. <laughs> okay, roll the die. Okay, there we go. Save. Can I cutting words that? Yes. Have you already okay. done it this round? Uh, no, you haven't this round. No, actually, I did do it this round. You're right. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. All right. Well, he does break free. Um, that is his turn, though. All right. So now it's Fife's turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast, wait, as a bonus action, Hex. Okay. On, on, God, who are we more afraid of, the Archon or the Manicor? Hmm. Probably say Archon. He he can do magic. I'd say Archon. Yeah. I, I might try okay. and take on this Manicor, man. Uh, um, uh, Archon might be a for me to hit. Actually, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast Hex on the Manicor, and I'm gonna give him disadvantage on Wisdom saving throws. I look at Krabic. Uh, the manacore yes. or an archon? No, I'm the manacore. So I'm doing multiple things. I'm going to cast the hex on the manacore to give him uh, wisdom saving. Oh, wait. Sorry, Balasar. I just put. Um, okay. I have to get rid of these. Uh, so just just know that he has disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Um, okay. And then, uh, and then I'm going to cast a wall of force around Archon because I don't know what to do with him right now. So we might as well just be off the table in the moment. Okay, wall of force. 
Uh, nothing can, yeah, nothing can pass the wall. It's immune to all damage and cannot be dispelled by dispel magic. So I don't think he's able to cast spells through it. Right? Yeah, Is that true? I'm double checking. Yeah, if, if, uh, 10 foot by 10 foot. We would know that. Nothing can physically pass through the wall. It's immune to all damage and can't be dispelled. A disintegrate spell destroys the wall instantly. However, the wall also extends to the ethereal plane, blocking ethereal travel through the wall. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, he wouldn't be able to cast through it. Okay, so I am just going to do that. I'm going to put up a wall of force around Archon and say, that's a problem for round three. <laughs> and that's going to be my turn. That's it. I'll do. All right. And it is Archon's turn. All right, let's see here. He's in the bubble. Yeah, have some fun, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> see what he's got. <laughs> Live in the bubble. I mean... He's in his bubble season. He's in a bottle. Of that's the that's an NBA joke for people who clearly don't watch watch the NBA. Okay, um, so you see him in the bubble. He's raised his hand, uh, which is obviously what you guys know to be the hand of Vecna, um, and he's got it raised up, and he's kind of clenching his hand back and forth. Um, you're seeing inside the bubble. Uh, there is. Uh, Undead beginning to sprout out from the ground inside the bubble. Um, you see skeletons and uh, creatures uh, crawling up out of the ground. It seems like he's summoning them inside the bubble. Um, you see four now, but he's continuing the spell, so you assume he's going to continue doing that for some reason. And Crab, it's your turn. Let's see here. Now, if he's in the bubble, can I not cast Counterspell on him when he's in the bubble? Yeah, nothing can pass through the wall. Nothing can pass he's through the bubble. Problem. He's a problem for where we can all, like, curb stomp him at the end. That's kind of what I thought. Okay, in that case, since I have free hold monsters and free Counterspells, just uh, saying that to myself to remember that the future, I'll, I'll cast Hold Monster, monster on the Manticore again. Okay. Let me just uh, target him real quick. He has disadvantage. All right. Am I good? Manticore. And find my spell. Monster. And I cast. <laughs> he failed. Oh, he failed. Oh, failed. Great. Oh, yeah, nice. He yeah, he fell. Wow, that's a good. There is nothing that I can roll yeah, he rolled, that you will not You rolled a one, but with your plus four, oh. you still fell. <laughs> now, I, I hate to say, I wish that I was rolling saving throws for creatures instead of my own attack rolls. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> All right, so he is held <sighs> again. Oh, dang it, I'm trying to do this from doing it all wrong. And whose turn is it now? It is Lenora's turn. Ooh, Jimmy, uh, everyone just the everyone map, just disappeared from my yeah, map. The map just wiped, Nate. I don't know what you did. Uh oh. All right, let me reshare it. Yeah. Oh, it just wiped everybody off. I must click something crazy. All right, hang on. I'm fixing everybody. Lenora was Can here. Trogars. Uh, Tronic was here. I believe I was in some protective magic circle, if I recall correctly. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, well, maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. I think Fife was about there. Yeah, I was behind the bone. Nah, I don't remember where Kravik was. Maybe I was behind the bone? Okay. Yeah. All right, and Archons get him back out. All right, is that right? Yeah. All 
All right, everybody can see. Oh, wait a minute. Is Balsa, are you out? I don't see There, you are. there, there we you are. go. All right, there we go. All right, and who, who just went? Kravik just went. So it's Torigar's turn. Maybe. All right, he is going to attack Tronic. Well, I just screwed that up. Hang on. Let's see if it hits him. It's a miss. Delete that. All right, he's attacking again. Miss. All right, Lenora, it's your turn. All right, let's get into the uh, fray of battle here. Right up to Mr. Manticore. And uh, let's do a little strike here. Uh, divine strike, if you will. Um, so let's take a swing. Just a regular old swing. Wait, I... Wait, okay. And mace plus one. Go. Looks like a hit. And All right. If he's held, does that does he get advantage? I, I hit him either way. Do yeah, you, but well, in I'm the just, future, the yeah, future. in the future, yeah, oh, he would. Let's know. Yeah. All right. So I get an extra two d eight damage on top of this hit, Nate. So here's the regular damage, and then here's the divine strike damage. Oh, I didn't roll two. One more. There you go. Okay, 1421. There you go. Gotcha. All right. Oh, oh and then my, my spiritual weapon takes a swing at the man. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, let me do that. Three and four, so seven. Great. Wait, spiritual weapon auto hits? That's pretty yeah, cool. It's just, it's just oh, summon there, and it just keeps on, yeah, pinging. Yep. One yep, round. it pings twice. Oh, wow. Turn. All right, and now it's Bowser's turn. All right, I am going to join Lenora at the Battle of Manticore. Do it. And I'm going to uh, swing. Miss. Oh, wait, I get advantage. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just roll it again and see if you hit it this time. Okay, sorry. All right. There we go. Great. All right. So I should get plus 2d8 from this. Uh, oh, wait. Let's yeah. see. Slashing type radiant, radiant, radiant. Okay. I think I should get an extra 9 damage on it or, or 2d8 because it says radiant damage to any creature it hits. But I don't know 100%. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll roll it again now. I'll attack again now. Yeah, let's we'll see. see. Yeah, let's see what it Possibly. does. I can fix it, yeah. Okay. There is a hit. There we go. All right, let's see what it does without all the... Oh, push stuff. Yeah, so, okay, I, so I should get an extra 2d8 damage on... Or so an extra 48 damage. Okay. Um, on these, because it says it does yep. searing radiance, it does an extra nine, whatever. Yeah, go ahead and roll um, that. I can't and believe I'll add it on. Okay, 48. Yep. You got it. Seven, nine, ten. Okay, I the, man the manticore D20 dies uh, with the screech. Um, the manticore is dead. Yeah. All right. All right. And Guys, I'm, I get D20 damage rolls, and I got a two and a four. So far. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the items may change, but the character remains the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. True. Trunks over here attacking Trogar some more. That's a hit. 14 damage. Miss. Whoops, I'm sure you roll damage. It's first time he's missed. All right, here he goes again. Hit. Four, five, six, 
14 damage, and that's three. He gets one more. Ooh, crazy. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. 21 damage, and let's roll his fire for three of those. Five. Eight. All right, 13 more damage. Let me get that on him. All right. Um, and it is... <laughs> Fife's turn. Uh, yeah, I am just going to gonna hit throw Torogar with a bunch of kind of uh, so there's four one hit hit two Hit. Nice. Four. Oh, no, missed. Okay, so three. One. Eight damage. Ooh, garbage. Garbage damage. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep that fast. Yeah, that seems okay. All right, and... Back to Archon. Um, so there are four, there's about four zombies in there. He is still summoning um, more creatures within. You see more of them piling up out of the ground inside of the bubble. All right, it is Kravik's turn. Okay, I will try to, let's try to hasten the death of Trogar here. Gonna target him. And I will cast. Uh, I think I get three finger of deaths as well. Finger of death nice. or end this line? Oh, he succeeded. Half damage. All right. That's it. All right. Is Trogar's turn? He is, um, he's attempting to, um, with his horns, he's charging into Tronic and attempting to push him. Uh, let's see if he hits, and then we'll do a strength check. He's actually trying to shove him over towards the tent area. It's a hit, so I'm going to get Tronic to roll a strength saving throw. All right, he passes. Uh, so he does hit him for damage, but he's not able to push him. Nineteen damage and fifteen damage. All right. Ooh. It is now Lenore's turn. Back to me already. I was moving quick. All right, <coughs> one monster down. One to go. Five, ten, fifteen. The, the movement's very weird right now. Nate. Move me up to the to Tro Torgar. Yeah, thank you. Taking a swing makes plus one, and then my special weapon will hit afterwards. That. Oh, did I? Sorry, did I not target? Yeah, attack. I'm assuming, I'm assuming a fifteen would miss. No, Eight. fifteen. No, fifteen would I mean, hit. I don't know. Oh, great. Then uh, I'll roll damage to apply to him. Uh, plus. Well, target two. him and then roll the damage. Yeah. Or I can just add it. All right. All right. And then yeah. let me roll this as well. Apply it to him. And and spiritual weapon on him as well. Please. All right. Yep. Let's roll that. Thank you. Three damage plus two damage. Five damage. Adding that now. All right. And it's Balsar's turn. Okay. All right. I'm going to move over to 
over here to try to finish um, Torgar. Here, I'll attack him. Um, let me make sure I'm okay. Miss. Fuck me. All right, I'll attack again. Finally. Yep. All right. Um, and then uh, an extra. Five damage. Gotcha. All right. And now it is Tronix's no, turn. I'll... Oh, what? Yeah go, yeah, go ahead. I'll stay here, actually. That's fine. All right, here he goes. That's a hit. That's actually a crit, so I have to roll the damage twice. For him, that's a crit. a hit eighteen. It's another crit. He's dead. All right, Trogar He's has dead. died. All right, got him. All right, and uh, whose turn is it now? It's five's turn. Now, hey Fife, guys, we did it. Fife yes. I have an area of effect spell that I can cast that, but that would potentially hit Archon and all of those zombies. Do you want to defer your turn and have your turn be that you undo the um, uh, the spell and then I'll cast lightning right afterwards? I don't think I can do that because if I defer my turn, I'm at the very end of the round. So it would just go straight to Archon. Yeah. Well, it'll go to Archon, but then the thing would be up, and then it would be my turn, and you could drop the thing, and then I could cast. I mean, yeah, so basically everybody else would defer their turn to after me on the next round. But the question is, I don't think that's going to be super helpful. I mean, we can't, we can barely hit him. I feel like we need to figure out a way to get the Hand of Vecna off him. I think that is what is making him so goofy. Right. So I'm like vigorously looking through my spells to see if there's something that we could do. Right? Is that Because that's what we need. Like, we need to get the hand off. Hmm. Yeah? No? Well, hmm. What does everybody else do? Um, don't know. I, I mean, I, I mean, if you can get the hand off him, that'd be great. I don't know how we're gonna do that. I mean, I have animate objects. I could like try to bring it to life and have it run away from him. Maybe. I mean, I can just drop... I can If everybody wants to hold their turn until after me, I can drop it. Then everybody can beat him up. But he'll have one more round if he's dead. Does that sound like a plan? Sure. All right. I mean, if it's bad, we can just throw up another wall. So, um, yeah, I guess for my turn, I do nothing. Okay, then. All right, so Archon the Kroll is going to... I mean, it's kind of the same thing if you just... No, I see what you're saying. No, it's not. Okay, all right. He is summoning more, so he's up to 12 zombies within the circle. Um, Ooh, Jesus. We'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. Um, I'm not going to put him on the thing yet. Uh, but there's 12 inside the bubble now, and that's his turn. Kravik, it's your turn. Or you guys are going to all defer till after... Five, so five, it's your turn. Okay, I will drop. I'll move over here. Oh, wait, I'm going to I'm gonna look at Crabby and be like, what's the save for your spell? For animate objects? 
Or for the spell that you planned on doing. I guess I'm deferring. That's fine. Um, well, if I'm going to try, I'm going to use animate objects and there's no, what do you call it? But let me see here. If I'm going to do like some damage on him, um, I'll probably cast like finger of death or something. That's free for me also. Um, and that is a constitution saving throw. Okay. So I drop the thing. I immediately cast hex on him to give him a disadvantage on... Constitution. Okay. And that's... But I it, guess everybody else goes out. And if it doesn't, it's it's not going to do all the things, so basically um, you'll just roll advantage would be the best way to do that, Krabby. Okay. Say again? Uh, you'll roll this spell on advantage since we can't really put disadvantage on him. I don't think. Okie dokie. All right, so the bubble is down. I believe, though, Lenora, your axe would just continue. I don't remember if it's only for that general area, if it's like an area of effect. Um, can, I can move it slightly. I, think I it, thought so. Uh, can move over to the, yeah, the guy and the zombies and such. I thought so. Okay, we'll have it over here. All right, Kravik. It's your move. Okay, I am going to cast um, Chain Lightning on... Um, on Archon and three of the zombies, I believe. I get four bolts of lightning. Okay, let me get the zombies out. All right. Are they on the uh, thing? I oh, don't no, see I'm sorry. I forgot I didn't put them on the map. Let me put them out there. I'm putting them out, but you're not going to see them until I unhide them. But... Visible zombies? <laughs> Tiamat I was ready for, but this... This is devious. <laughs> all right, we unhide them all now. Archon is not a fiend, right? No. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So it's going to target three other zombies. So we'll do uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Archon and three zombies. Okay. Casting chain lightning. Sake. Only. They'll, uh, they all succeed except for the one zombie, but half damage. Now, isn't... Don't they have to hit a 19 to to succeed? Uh, due to what? Due to your spell um, modifier? Yeah, Kirsten, can you weigh in on this? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, you are right. So Archon the Cruel is the only one that actually succeeded. Um, okay. roll for it and I'll fix it. So I'm going to roll the damage? Yeah. Okay, 36 damage. Let me check this. Uh, well, it's not too hard math to do. That would... see which ones you pick. Zombie 1 is dead. All right, and what was the other one? Zombie 7. Zombie 1 and Zombie 9. 7's dead. Zombie 9 is dead. 
And yep, yeah, there we go. Make sure it worked on Oricon. Yep. Okay, cool. So I killed three zombies there? Yep. All right, sexy. All right, Lenore, it's your turn. All right. Uh, let's see, what can I use that might not be too powerful? Yeah, they're all they're undead, right? Yep. I fucking rule undead. Let's uh, take a little walk, see, <laughs> and uh, turn some undead. All right. Uh, they might be able to outright destroy them. Let me see here. Uh, turn undead. Um, okay. Destroy undead. Uh, what level are they? Are they level four or lower? Yes. I destroy them. Uh, when an undead, oh, uh, sorry, they have to fail their saving throw. So right. I'm going to do turn undead and anyone that fails, uh, dies. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. So let me target all of them. Epic. Is there a range for that? I think it's anyone I can see. Let me let me see the, spe the specific thing. Yeah. Here. Uh. And realistically, I spread these all out just so you guys could see them. Uh, they're all actually they haven't moved. They're actually all gathered around Arcan. Oh, yeah. okay. I just did that so you guys could see them and select them. Um. Guys, it's like, it doesn't. Each undead that you can see or hear you within thirty feet. There you go. That's all of them, right? Yeah, you you can right. definitely hit all of them, yeah. They're all still bunched together. <laughs> wow, a bunch of them Did it actually stayed. Uh, wait. Oh, failure, failure, failure. Oh, I was reading the word save as if they saved, but no, a lot of them failed. Uh, I think one zombie is alive. And did I, did I target all of them? I wasn't sure if I got all of them. It looks like you did. Um, Eight. Is there a well, one? One's already dead. Well, that's their role, right? So only the ones that one they failed. Is dead. Yeah, one. Let's see. Nine are already Three dead. Three is dead, Four, too. Four, ten, twelve, eleven, five, two, three are all dead. Only eight. Yeah, you're right. It looks yeah. like they Zombie survived. Two. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let me get this all done. Where these zombie summons this whole campaign dude i could have been doing this on the reg oh man I, i'm thinking i didn't forget <laughs> that i could do this uh but cool and uh lenora does uh hey you got any more you got any more i'm uh get some more on here come on let's go all right there is zombie parts uh, and everywhere then, uh the um and then the axe, axe gets to go yeah yeah swing at archon at archon okay so six damage to archon great all right and it is balsar's turn okay there's only one zombie left of low <clears throat> uh status now uh Archon is a red dragon born, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm going to use breath. Uh, try and do what I do. He's your brother. <laughs> I to fight my own is to fight myself. It's the evil version of Balsar. <laughs> All right, let's turn on stuff. Yeah, please, come on, baby. Rumpel ZQ, you can, on Fantasy Grounds, Unity at least, you can, I think you hold Shift, I believe is what they're doing. You can just select um, targets, as many of them as you want. Um, let's see. Miss. Oh, wait, now that I am. Um... <clears throat> now that I attacked, I have to attack again. Oh, Miss. All right. Let's stay right there to absorb. All right. It is Tronix's turn. All right. Tronix can try to attack. 
or can. It's a miss. It's a crit. Oof. Oof. 20 damage. Miss. It's three. One more. It's a hit. All right. 13 damage. Let me do fire on twice. Six. Max damage. And two. Eight. All right. I'm going to add that. Okay, and now it is Fife's turn. Okay, she still has heat. He still has hex on him. I guess I don't know. I don't. We're not napping, so uh, so I'm zapping. I'm gonna hit him with Eldritch Blast. All right. See if any of these. Technically, it's not a it's not it. That's not it. None of them. Uh, miss, miss, miss. Miss, 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 miss. miss. Uh, fuck me. That's it. I'm not going to waste any more spells. All right. Zombie 8 is shambling towards Lenora. Oh, my God. This guy. <laughs> He's trying to claw Get at him and here. he missed. Your bigger, <laughs> bigger problem. All right. Archon's turn. All right, Archon is going to All right, let's see how this works. He is trying to cast on Tronic. Let's see if it works. Counter spell. If Hello. Tronic failed. He uh yeah, Kravik was it's a man counter spell. I don't know if you heard Nate. Oh, you're doing counterspell, Kravik. Okay. Um, all right. It works. Let's see. Where's it at? All right. Um, and then Archon, um, he has teleported on top of the um, skull up near the eye. That's his turn. All right, Kravik, it's your turn. Okay, I... Oh, am I still targeting him? Nope. All right. You guys are like a thousand feet away out of combat. You can move a little bit closer, I think. <laughs> well, you want to How far away is he? He's, we'll target him. He's You'll about see. 75 feet him. from you now. How far away is he? 75 feet from you. 75. Sorry, he's got to check the spell's range. Uh, that's uh, only 60 feet. But I do have a more long distance spells I can use. You just um, walk 15 feet. You could walk 15 feet for free, my dude. Oh, I can, I can walk 15 <laughs> feet. All right, I walk 15 <laughs> feet closer. <laughs> okay. The traffic is like so done with walking as I'm like part of it. I forgot the move, actually. I forgot he can move. Which which high level spell can I use to get closer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I use a level like, seven spell. A I can level hero of, and he can't walk. <laughs> I cast wish to put me fifteen feet closer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna be within spell casting range. <laughs> okay, now I have a question really quickly because I'm, uh, you know. I'm a little bit of an idiot with the mechanics. Okay. Um, I was looking at my inventory, and I see that I have a Wand of War Mage, which gives me a plus one on attack rolls. That that's that's different than spells, yeah. right? Yeah. So, like, if I if I cast like Finger of Death, for example, I wouldn't get an advantage on that. No, it would just be for like a, a melee attack. Gotcha. Well, it would it, it would be like a um, what do you call it? Yeah. Never mind. All right, I cast Finger of Death on him. He is targeted. He succeeded. Uh, he still half gets damage. half damage. No, he actually gets full damage because you have a DC 19. 
Oh, that's right. We keep forgetting that. Ah, yeah, so, so 69. Nice. Hang on, let me fix it. So what did it really do? Let me see what's nice. happening. Um, it did... <laughs> 35? It did 34. 34. It did yeah, 34, so you just add Okay, 35. gotcha. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, oh, it says it right there. Didn't there should be some math. advantage because it's 69. There should yes. be. Like, you should get, like, some <laughs> anal damage as well. <laughs> the hand of Vecna is rubbing somewhere. Inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why are you doing 69 if you're giving anal damage? <laughs> Ain't no damage. Well, Nora, it's your turn. It's not and necrotic I, damage. It's I'm erotic up, damage. I'm up the with this uh, this last zombie. Get him out of the way. Hit. Okay. That plus this. And my sword, if he's not dead at that point. Um... 13 plus have the sword take a swing at him, the, the axe, whatever, take a swing at him. No, he's dead. You're good. Great. Then the axe flies as close as it can to Archon to continue following him to his death. And he dies. All right, let's get this axe up here. Great. And I'm going to roll for it. Whoa. Two and five, seven damage. Okay, and it is Balsar's turn. No, Balsar, sorry. Okay, all right. I'm going to fly up to him and attack again. Just keep going back to the same fucking well. <laughs> You're it's a hit. Hit. All right. Why don't, why don't you uh, move your character over to him? Yeah. I will, sure. Move my Yeah, we were all roasting me for not realizing now, that I could move. I, I've been meaning to ask, but you've been missing the whole time, so I haven't really gotten a chance to. Um, are you, you guys have mentioned something about you're trying to get the hand off. Are you, like, specifically trying to hit him in the, the hand, or are you just attacking him? I'm not. Uh, um, in this case, I guess... Uh, I'm trying to. I was just attacking him. Okay. At, All right. For this one, I didn't specify. Okay. Um, plus, let's. I'm just gonna take because it says you can either take two d eight or nine extra damage. I'm gonna take the nine. Okay. Because uh, so I just add nine damage to him. I got gotcha. you. Um, and then I'm gonna let me put my stuff back up, and I'll attack again. I just don't think. On a called shot, if I, like, I would have to get a 20 to hit this guy because an 18 barely hit him. Uh, so, yeah, let me put my snipe back up. Okay. Oh, you know what? Um, it says if I hit an evil uh, searing radiance, an evil creature that takes this radiant damage... Must succeed on a DC 17 Constitution saving throw or be blinded until the end of its next turn. Nice. Okay. So, um, give him a saving throw. Uh, DC if, 17. For if Constitution. He has, uh, he, he has disadvantage on Constitution. Oh, nice. Oh, was it a Constitution yeah. roll? Not a. I thought you said wisdom. Yeah. Oh, my bad. All right, let me reroll. Uh, Constitution. Uh, let me turn on disadvantage. Wow, oh my okay, God. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he rolled All right, two fifteen. Well, let's, let's see if I hit him again. So maybe that'll be able to do that. Let's see. Did I put on the divine smite? Um, I think I did. Yeah, you did. It's up there, radiant. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, great. All right. Yes. All right. All right. So, um, so um, I wanted you to get your attacks in, but um, while you're attacking, um, they're out of the uh, skull of the dragon. Um, there are hands reaching up trying to grab you. Uh, th roll me a dexterity saving throw, real quick. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, dexterity save. Great. Yep. I'll use a, uh, I use a uh, luck roll on that. Okay. I assume I assume these hands are clawed and uh, dragon like. Yes. <laughs> okay. Then yeah, I'll use a luck roll on that. I use a luck roll on that. <laughs> oh, okay, mostly. Jesus now, Christ! Now these these hands do they go. give the impression okay. of being attached to a body with many heads. Uh, they do That's look like they belong to a large <laughs> dragon. They, they do look like they belong to a large dragon. Um, they're ethereal in appearance, though. They're not physical. Um, it, it does, uh, you do manage to get away. Now, are you flying back to where you are right now, Bowser, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure I didn't need to move you somewhere else. And it is Tronic's turn. Tronic's going to, how far away is that? I am hovering. Yeah, okay. He can just barely make it there. He's going to try to get some attacks in here. To miss. That's a hit. And that's actually a... Um, that's a crit, a crit for him. Let's roll his damage twice. Alright. Try, that was try number two, wasn't it? Yeah. This is third crit miss. Okay, yeah. but he's okay. He just missed. Uh, last hit. Hit. Hit miss. All right, and then I'm going to roll two for his fire. Six, max damage, and four. Ten more damage to Arcan. All right. And it is five turn. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't know, man. Tiamat's here. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hit him with Eldritch Blast. I think that's stupid to do it. Miss. 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 <laughs> Miss! <laughs> I'm just gonna like sit. I'm gonna sit on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're I'm saving gonna, your I'm stuff. Gonna, you're doing the right thing. I mean, yeah. I just saw hands pop out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start prepping my, um, my inspiring leaders. All right. It is Arakan's turn. Uh, Arcan yeah. looks like Sorry, he's... we're in the middle of battle, and uh, and Fife has taken out a quill and a piece of parchment paper. <laughs> angrily, angrily writing notes. <laughs> so Arcan looks like he's praying, and uh, Tronic's close enough. Tronic hears him saying something about Mother Divine, um, and the maw here of the dragon's mouth. Um, Fire spews, or I'm sorry, not fire. Ice spews out uh, across the battlefield. Um, it, I'm going to draw it here from the dragon's maw, um, like this, uh, spewing out. It doesn't hit Krabic or Fife, but this entire area there inside of that is now rough terrain. It doesn't really matter for you, Balsar. You were flying, but uh, it does the, the, um, Blast device does still hit you. So I'm going to roll for damage here. It, no saving throw? It hits me automatically? Yes. Okay. Well, actually, no, that's fair. Uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw, uh, but it's got a very high DC. It's a DC of 24. Sure. All right. Oof. How do you pick up multiple dice? I forget. Just drop that. We drop the reaction to. Nope. Oh, it's right click. There we go. All right. Seventeen damage. Not bad. Oh man, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I can put it on. And that's very good. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, and uh, roll me, uh, Lenore, you're just barely in the way there. Roll me a, uh, a dexterity saving throw. Titch, because I'm barely in there? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's lower for you. I'd say 18. Hell, only an 18, huh? All right. Oh, baby! Oh, yeah. nice. There you go. All right, no damage, no damage, no damage. All right. And I think that's it. All right. And now it is Kravik's turn. Okay, I am going to cast Finger of Death, um, and uh, he has disadvantage, right? On con, yeah. Yeah, on constitution, yeah. yep. So roll advantage. Or roll it twice. Oh, sorry about that. Just roll it again. <laughs> well, yeah. well, he failed anyway, so oh, he that, failed. that's that what we wanted. One. Oh, that was his yeah. roll, not your roll. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So. He failed, well, he failed twice anyways. <laughs> he failed. Nice. Oh, Full damage. 59 oh, oh, oh. damage. Nice. Um, Not the 69, though. After you cast that on him, um, it it hits him hard. Uh, he's fallen down to his knees, um, and it he's got his hands on the skull of this uh, dragon. Um, you see energy pulsing out of his hands into the dragon, um, and you see... Counter the, spell. You, oh, this ain't really a spell. He, he, you can't really counter this. This is just a, uh, an event. <laughs> so, uh, you see the energy pulsing. You can see the dragon skulls beginning to twitch. Uh, roll me an arcana check real quick, Kravik. And five, two? and five, and Lenora, actually. Well, I have good arcana, uh, but I um, didn't roll one. Well. Lenora, since you're a cleric, roll again, because it would have been oh. advantage for you. Okay. I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Okay, Lenora got it. Lenora, you are pretty darn sure that he's bringing this giant ancient old dragon back to life as an undead oh. dragon. Um, okay. So well, he's now, gonna, it's not going to happen right so now. Oh, I'm sorry. You would have noticed that too, Kravik. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, but I know it even more than Lenora. <laughs> you know even more. As a matter of fact, just because I messed up, Kravik, you know it's going to be exactly three turns, and this thing's going to be... Three rounds, sorry. And this thing's going to be alive. Lenore and Krabic are shouting over each other this information. Like, oh, this dragon's coming back to life! Did you have dragon's coming back for three turns? Um, I, say to, uh, I say to Lenora, do you know how many turns? Because I do. <laughs> uh, two, to four, two to five? Two to six? Um... I shared the map uh, for you, Tronic, and real quick, just to catch you up. They've killed the uh, the Minotaur, and uh, they're, you're really just down to just Arcan the Cruel, who has the Hand of Vecna, um, and um, yeah, the the big giant uh, dragon. He's bringing it back to life there that he's staying on top. Of. I shared the map. You should have it. And Nate, the dragon can breathe fi uh, ice out of its map maw. As part of the Arcana check, or I can roll a new one, if anything, do I know if there's a way to stop this process? You the, killing Archon. Okay, kill him quickly. Uh, also, Tronic, you basically took out Torgar. Uh, Archon the Cruel is pretty hard to hit. You've been able to hit him a few times. Like he he takes up in the you know fifteen ab above, maybe sixteen above to hit. <laughs> and uh, if you go over the mouth area of this undead dragon, then uh, Tiamat's hand's going to try to come out and grab you. Isn't that where I am right now, it looks like? Yeah, you're there. You're on the, uh, yeah, you're on the, the mouth there, but uh, don't go over the, uh, the, the open area. Got it. You're standing on the Do bone. It. You've been rolling some crits, too. Yeah, you've been, yeah, you've been rolling great. Because I'm not actually rolling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. And Kravik, Kravik hit the, the, the guy for 69 points. 69 uh, points of erotic damage. Yeah, it was erotic damage, not necrotic. <laughs> and Shafiq dusted, uh, dusted 10 zombies in, ten, in one move, right? He, he, had sure did. Text, he, had a, he had to text me about that one. <laughs> yeah, it's <absolutely laughs> right. See important. all that purple? That important information. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything else about the battle except for that Shafiq killed ten zombies in one Cra show. Now, Kravik killed four before that also. He's not getting no credit now because uh, oh, I don't know, walked in and killed like ten of them. 
Four is not ten. That's right. <laughs> and I, I with the sword of Zario, weapon supreme, <laughs> killed a paralyzed Manticore. <laughs> 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 with the powers of the uh, celestials um, I, feel, I feel sufficiently <laughs> caught up alright uh, Nate are we, is it my turn uh, yes alright uh, call lightning on Archon the Cruel alright uh, the, the area is going to avoid Tronic so it'll be him north of him the the, the uh, area of effect destroy a little cloud I'm targeting him and I'm casting. He succeeded, uh, but like still. He's, he's still going to take, I think, half damage or something. Yep. And then, he stays, uh, please though. have my little axe take some stabby stabs at him. That call lightning stays, though, am I right? Uh, I believe so. Let me just check, double check that. Yeah, check that uh, one row in your axe damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ten or nine damage from the axes. Uh, on each of your turns until the spell ends, you can use your action to call down lightning in this way again. So as long as he doesn't move, more lightning is coming his way. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Also, I uh, take one step to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move. All right, Bal, so it's your turn. <laughs> well, no one remembers she can move. <laughs> <laughs> leave the butt. No, sorry, there, buddy. Sorry. We just said leave the butt on in sorry. case so five can do her thing. Okay, so um, I'm going to fly around the mo the mouth and uh, try to come in and hit uh, Ar and hit Archon from the the right. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's um. I think my stuff is on. Yeah, okay. Miss? Oh, I thought it was going to be hit. Miss. All right. I'm going to fly back over here. All right. Trying to get your turn. Okay. Uh, you've been attacking with my great sword, I take it. I will be doing yeah. the same. All right. Uh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. So here will be attack number one. Oh, I guess it helps if I target something. Mm. See, it's been so long since we played. Uh, try that again. Mike looks over at Kravik. Tronix changed a lot in the scene. We're doing with confidence just minutes ago. <laughs> well, it's, I got that my practice roll out of the way. It didn't count because I didn't have anything targeted. Still missed. Okay. Hit. All right. You've been adding my flame, I take it? Yep. Okay. Uh, one here. Hit. Still alive? Yep. Six more damage. I think that was four. No, it was six. No, I mean, that was my fourth. Oh, fourth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Fife, you're up. Man, oh, man. I'm just going to this Elvis Blast this guy. Can I, can I just, like, continually call my shot and be like, this is a nat 20 that I'll take his hand off? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to take his hand off with it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, that, I'm calling my shot every time. Okay. Hit! Yeah, it hit! Okay, let's see if I get another one. 
Oh, a crit. Oh, snap. Oh, the crit would take it, might take his hand off. Okay, wait, let me do this. The first one. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so, wait, and I get to roll another D. What is it? D10 on top of that. So, that's another eight. Okay. Um, and then I have one more hit. Done. But I got two hits, one of which was a crit. Yeah, hang on one second. We'll play that out. Um, all right, so I got that extra ten on there. Um, so what I want you to and do? I say that like Fife has been pouting because she hasn't hit at all, so she's kind of just doing mm. like, half, half ass and he's like behind her back because she's mad. We're gonna do a test of your. Uh, we'll do a test of your, I guess, wisdom. Um, roll me a wisdom um, roll, not a save, just a roll. All right, now I'm going to roll against Archon. I'm going to let him roll a constitution saving throw. With disadvantage. With, oh, true. Okay, and let's see how he does on his save. Ooh. Lower than yours. Okay, here's what we're going to say. We're going to say that his hand... The hand of Vecna did come loose. Um... It, it, it's it's still on him. A uh, bone cracked um, in his wrist, or up, you know, a little bit higher in his into his forearm, uh, where it's attached. It did crack. Um, you've seen some stitches. Uh, t uh, trying to get close enough to see some stitches come flying out of it, um, which you've noticed it's been stitched onto his onto his arm. Uh, mm. It's loose. You can see bone fragments, but it is still technically attached to him. All right, and now it is Archon's turn. Um, Archon is Kevin. still <laughs> Archon is still summoning. Uh, he's concentrated uh, on summoning this dragon faster. Um, and um, Romy Arcana checks real quick. Uh, Fife, Kravik, and Lenora, and Lenora with advantage. Okay, well, Fife notices. Um, Fife, he has sped it up. In one more round, this uh, undead dragon is going to come to life. Nani? <laughs> this, is our last, this is our last chance. All right, Krabbit, it's your turn. All right, I cast Finger of Death. He has disadvantage on saves. Nice, okay. All right, try that again. Nah, he succeeded uh... both times. All right, well, Wait, he still does have uh... damage. Can I counterspell? Or not counterspell. Bardic, uh, Bardic, uh, Bardic. Inspiration? No, cutting words. Because you only need to get down by one. To get full damage? Yeah. And I need um, to So I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's true. Words. You only got to get down one. Yeah, there you All go. Right, there you go. So uh, how much damage did it do there? 20, 50, 20, 52. I need to add 26 more because I already oh. did the 26. Okay. Okay, so gotcha. And that actually killed Archon the Cruel. Yeah. Uh, Whoa! When he falls to the ground, um, Tronic, uh, you notice that the hand uh, detaches itself uh, from his body. Um, it's writhing around. Uh, roll me a constitution saving throw, Tronic. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, at least Constitution is like his big, huge yeah. thing. Yeah. You resist, Tronic, but it is, it is, there is an overpowering sense of, um, uh, for a second there, that you wanted to take this hand, chop off your own hand, and, and place it on you. Good God. A 33, he just barely got resisted. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what would you guys like to do? This hand is writhing around on the ground. Um, what should I do it. with it? Can we destroy it. it? There's no downside to destroying it, right? You don't need to give it to anybody. Well, if I kick it into the hole, and like, what's going to happen? Is somebody else going to Someone else it? might grab it. Yeah, yeah. You, destroy destroy it. It. you feel there's great, yeah. great power if you were to just chop off your own hand and take it, though, Tronic. No. I could just take it. I could just... 
No. Don't you see it. the Don't you see the good that we could do with it? <laughs> Throw it into the fire. Charnik. You know what, Charnik? You're convincing me. I'm I'm on your side now. I'm on your side. <laughs> it, it's think think about what we could do to right, Tima right. with this with this thing. Yeah. I mean, I really don't want to uh, lose this next battle. I no, wait, but I'm resisting, though. No, I'm resisting, right? Yeah, you can I mean, resist it, yeah. Resist. All right. It, it's, I'm feeling Our this. hands are not their hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, can, I, can I destroy it somehow? There's lava nearby or how, whatever you want. Yeah, I'm going to... It's begging you. It's, that shit. it's begging you not to do that, to please become part of you. It promises. Exactly. You, it will help you. Do not it will help trust... you defeat Diamant. Listen, listen, there's one thing I learned in magic school. It's do not trust dead hands that don't want to go in lava. <laughs> if I, can, I, can I, what's the easiest way to get it into the lava? Kick it or uh, throw it or use my sword? Like Use his sword like a golf club? Yeah. Can I, do, can I, <laughs> I, vote, I vote golf club. Can, can I stick my like sword in the hole and toss it? <laughs> like on the end of it, where it where it came, where it was like detached. Yeah, part? Okay. yeah, yeah. Like maybe I take it and then I just kind of flick it into the fire, into the lava. Okay, that's what you want to do. Yeah, I think that's probably the easiest. That way, I don't touch it. It doesn't touch any part of my body. Okay, you stab your sword into the uh, end of it there, and as it attaches in with a squish on the end, the hand kind of uh, opens up uh, and. It begins pulling upward. Uh, g give me a strength check. Great. Strength it's... or uh, straight save? Yeah, strength save. Sorry. Save. Okay, um, it's pulling your sword upward. Your sword is now pointing up straight in the air um, as the hand is trying to uh, escape. Um, it's, you're, you're on your tippy toes now. It is uh, about to lift you off the ground. Um, uh, I, I, I roll over, I fly over and try to hold him down as well. Okay. As you touch Tronic, um, roll me a strength, uh, no, I'm sorry, a constitution saving throw. Oh, shit. Constitution. But also, I was going to want it. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't like roll that. I don't like roll. Oh, I want to see how that played <laughs> out. I don't like rolls before. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Balasar, uh, you felt the, the necrotic energy coming from his hand. Uh, it's coursing its way through the sword and down into Tronic and now into your body. Um, the need for uh, survival and this hand wanting to uh, live on and the mass amount of power that you could hold and spells at your fingertips um being able to teleport being able to sleep slow and finger of death um the powers it grants um but you but you are able to resist if you wish uh, uh, evil to defeat evil <laughs> or evil will <laughs> reign <laughs> Can I Nathan. can I try to take another flick again? Yeah. Like... Yep. Strength saving throw. Or not saving right. throw. Just yeah, strength I check. Sorry. Not a saving. Just a strength check. All right. You uh, manage to uh, swing your sword over to the right. The hand flies off towards the lava. Um, as it's descending down, though, it vanishes before it hits the lava. But you feel what? its oh, presence. It. You feel its presence is gone. Huh. I guess it teleported out of here. Well, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I'm sure that's the last we'll see of that evil dead hand. <laughs> yeah, next time we... Can't you, like, entrap it or something, Kravik? Well, yeah, but it seemed like we were going to be able to kill it in lava, so I didn't see the, uh, the immediate urge. Next time we can maybe mm. send it into one of your various dimension doors. I will, I will treat it with the severity that it deserves next time we see it. <laughs> all right, Doing, so... Hey, hey, did everyone get, anyone get hurt that battle, or are we all at full health? I think Tronic got hit. Uh, Tronic got hit, and I got hit a little bit, but... Yeah, 45 Nathan, damage. My, were you doing my heals? Oh, I wasn't. And we went through about five rounds. Is it, what is it? Is it you roll for it? I don't remember. It, uh, it's, um, 
I have at the start of each of my turn at the start of each turn I regain hit points equal to five. Yeah. Plus my constitution modifier. Oh five plus five, I think is your constitution. let me check that. What is your constitution? It was about That's five fine. rounds, so it is five. So ten. Uh, so you're fully healed then. So it'd be fifty. Uh so who's left that is missing hit points? Just Balasar? Balasar is missing thirty two, yeah. yeah. 32? Right. Uh, I, I, could, I, I could lay on hands. Well, well, is it possible well, to take a short rest just because I would get my all my bardics back? If you take a short rest. Yeah, you guys could all take right. a short rest over in the tent area. It's a little burnt down, but... Yeah. Short rest. Let's do, let's do it. All right. Now, I think during the short rest, we all talk about, like, wow, can you believe how far we've come? Like, look what we're doing, mm -hmm. guys. You know? Mm -hmm. Maybe the Tiamat was the friends we made along the way. Mm. <laughs> now, uh, serious question. Are we going to start this fight with Tiamat now, or are we going to wait do, for the next session? Do short rests um, give you your spells back, or no? Some spells. There's some that do short rest, or with certain perks. Yeah. What do what do clerics, do clerics get back anything with a short rest? I don't think so, right? Just HP? Hmm. I don't even know where that where that would be. Yeah, I don't either. I'm just full by Baldur's Gate three now, where you can just where it just tells you. I I don't think so. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Which is fine. I didn't use any powerful spells. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I would like to pause here. 10 yeah. Thirty. Yeah. No way we're gonna beat team out in a half an hour or less. Right. All right, well, we'll continue. Uh, you've, they've cleared the path now. This is the way down to Tiamat's lair. Um, they received the power to be able to enter into the, her lair through Bell, uh, so they should be able to walk right in. Um, and so it looks like next session will be a fight with Tiamat. And if you might maybe miss the beginning of the show, um, they got a... Uh, they, they made it packed. Well, not everybody, but Kravik and... Lenora. Lenora made a pact with uh, uh, Asamir that they would use a orb in order to transport her to the outer planes and destroy her true form so she cannot return. Um, and actually, uh, yeah, it's actually really cool. So, all right, that's what we'll be doing. That's what we'll be doing next. next are we playing next week? Or are we coming up on that? I'm, I'm around. They who, who I'm around me? next week. Who has the orb, by the way? I do. Kravik. Okay. All right. Great. Good. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for coming out. That was fun. And we'll see you guys next week. Next Monday, we'll probably finish. It could be a two. It could be a two-parter fight. We'll cool. see what happens. Well, Nathan, really quick, one last question. Is, it a, is there an issue with us taking a long rest now, or is that not possible? I don't see the problem with it. You defeated. So you're guarding it. Yeah, we just great, then we should take a long rest. I worry yeah, that that would mean that, that Tiamat might be able to, like, do something. I don't prepare know. Better oh, or okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah. All right. In that case, then don't worry about it. We well, can about uh, we, we'll sidebar over the week. Right. Yeah, you get always can always, if you change your mind about that, do that uh, before you move down next week. All right. Well, great. thanks, everybody. Everybody have a great night. We'll see you all later. Bye.